All right, this will be a quick video on how to use the account manager in Tribal Wars. As soon as you have five villages, you can set up the account manager for yourself, and we're gonna jump right into it with the constructions. So for constructions, what it will do is it will automatically queue uh, buildings in the headquarters for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Start by going to manage templates at the bottom here, and then you're gonna want to either create a template or you're gonna want to import one. I'll give you one to import here if you want to use mine for now. Uh, you just paste the text in here that you can find in the description. Okay, so if, uh, if you want to make your own, how it works is it's just a list of the order that you want things to be built in. If we look at the village I'm in right now, all these green check marks are already done. So we can see the next thing that will be done in this village is the barracks will be queued until they are level 25. It'll move on to the clay pit and so on. To add more in here, there's a drop down at the bottom. So let's say I want another hiding place level, I could add that in and that will now, now go to level 9 instead of level 8. I'm going to remove that though because I want that nice even 10,000 numbers, because why, why not? Once you have your template, you can go in here and apply it to every village. And every village will now automatically build to these numbers troops works pretty similarly you just take uh, whatever village you want to apply here you add the number of troops that you want it to build to and you can of course add templates on this one as well now for what to make your template that's a whole other discussion right now I have offensive villages just building to arbitrary high numbers I know the farm will uh, max out long before this, uh, if you look at this, this takes up 31,100 farm space. The reason I have it like this is I don't want either the stable or the barracks to stop building before they reach that. I just want them to keep pumping out troops until the farm maxes out. Because in my opinion, uh, the fastest nuke is the best nuke, but that is uh, purely subjectual. And then for defensive, uh, I need to revisit this, I just put something in there for now. Research, uh, it works just like the building manager. You can just make a template and then have your research automatically done to the numbers that you want. If you look at it, it is very similar to, um, oops, it is very similar to the building queue. Yeah, and you are of course kept at 15. The stockpile feature will um, automatically move resources between your villages that have an overflow versus the ones that could need some more a few times a day. And the deliveries is just a um, more manual way of doing that. Let's say I wanted to move resources from my one village here to my newest one, and every single day I wanted them to move over at 8 in the morning server time. I could create this. Oop, I would have to actually put some numbers in too. And with this created, every day at 8... Uh, 23 rather, don't know what happened there. And, oh, arrival. Anyways, you can play around with this. I don't really use it, but it would automatically move resources around there. As an alternative, I would just use a resource balancing script, but that's for another video. And yeah, that's pretty much it with the account manager. Personally, I like setting it up as soon as possible. It's just nice to not have to worry about uh, queuing troops in your own village. Everything here is being automatically queued. If you look at it, it'll do 50 at a time. And if we check the headquarters too, there's a construction manager page in here. And as soon as I get enough resources for this, the barracks will be automatically queued. I don't have to worry about it, I can go to sleep. Yeah, any questions, hit me up on Discord or in-game, and uh, thanks for watching.